Right. Okay, so we've got Steven the Diamond. It's Henry Stickman game. I've seen quite a lot of these. I haven't really played much of them though, so let's just get right into this. As the mayor, I hereby declare the Tunisian archaeological exhibit. Busting or sneaking? I'm gonna try sneaking first. I'm gonna go back through and do all the other options. I'm gonna try busting next. Shrink ray. <laughs> Man, why was that so much more vicious up close? <laughs> try. Uh, let's just go for a liquid liquidificator. Oh. Oh. Okay, how about an anti grab cap? You're lucky, I've always wanted to go to space. One's brilliant. Um, teleporter. Uh. Oh, that was the thing I had to do. That's nice. <laughs> I'm surprised you weren't able to get down there <laughs> with that amazing portal technology. It's pretty strange how those portal guns work. I mean, it's <laughs> I mean it combines the top scientific... <laughs> I can't even bother to read that. Let's just drop. <laughs> I just want to see what happened. A wire. Hammer. Okay, so what have we got here then? Cannon. <laughs> okay, cheese. What? Seriously? <laughs> okay. Plank. And after that, they just up and arrested him. What? Really? Yeah. Snap neck. <laughs> what? Yeah. That was me, so that. Told you, man, I told you about the stairs. <laughs> okay. Jump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. 
<laughs> okay, rifle. <laughs> Man, those first person shooters make it look so easy. Looks like I've got the diamond now, eh? to bust in. <laughs> Retry. Uh, ram. of video games playing just really sharpened your reflexes. Oh wait. I'll go for the bounce. Bounce. <laughs> wait. <laughs> there you got diamond. There you have option. Anyways. Drop. No Johnny! Upside down, repeat, upside down. Upside down. Upside down. Upside Done that, I got something else. Escape in the prison part two. <laughs> Let's go, lads. through them all. File. Window. <laughs> okay. MRT drink. Okay. (laughs) 
Side effects include nausea, headaches, rapid heartbeat, and possibly a stroke and or heart attack. And well, that's good to know. Okay, well, now I know that. Retry. Teleporter. That worked last time, so maybe it will work this time. Yes. Fire! Oh, man. <laughs> you can't see the hang of that thing, can you? Okay. Rocket launcher. <laughs> wait, wait to aim, buddy. Cell phone. Witness, please continue your testimony. Okay. As ran alongside my partner and the armored man, suddenly <coughs> spotted a bag on the side of the road. Got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. Objection! So, the defendant crawled into that bag in order to break into the bank. Is that correct? Is it not obvious? Is it really that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then, what are you waiting for? Present this evidence already. Yes, but there's one thing that's been bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then... How did he tie the knot from the outside of the bag? If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him to tie that knot on the outside. But then, how did he do it? It's simple. He didn't. What are you saying? I'm saying my client wasn't hiding in that bag at all. He was stuffed in there. By this very witness! What? As you can see by this doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While it was in the bag, he was unconscious. This is absurd. The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bag, knowing he'd drive by on the way back to the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the others. But, but why would he do that? Why, to dispose of the body, of course. There were millions of bags of money in that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from the tomb. He was arrested on the spot and the witness thought everything was over. So come back to haunt him now. You guys can't, you can't, this, this, this can't be happening to me! Well, that certainly was an interesting trial. However, I am now ready to deliver my verdict. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman... What was that?